Thanks for staying with us now. While the sunshine lifts our spirits and also can bring hidden dangers like skin cancer and premature aging. I right, join us now to share expert advice on protecting our skin is esthetician Ivana Breen. Am I right? Esthetician. Yeah. Uh, close enough. A uh, good morning to you. Good morning. Hey, uh, listen. It's beautiful, sunny weather. We're seeing Derek doing the weathers and sunshine. We never get to see that in Ireland. But actually, the hidden dangers of actually being out in the sun without protection. Uh, how dangerous is sunburn for people? Well, it's so dangerous because it's not only the fact that it's very painful and sore when it happens, but it's that potential risk that in the future for one sunburn, a blistering sunburn in childhood, makes you 50% more likely to get skin cancer in your older years. 50%? So, yeah. So does that mean like even if we're protecting our skin and like we're say we're on holidays or even the weather that we'll have here for the rest of the week, and we're putting sun protection on and our skin is getting a nice lovely golden color that we all love and we think oh we look really healthy we shouldn't even be getting a color no when your skin is changing color what's happening is your skin is producing melanin that's the pigment that gives our skin its color and it's your body's way of trying to protect your, your DNA from the UV rays and from the damage. And it, the reason that it's trying to protect it is because that cumulative damage does, it makes your skin unhealthy, putting it in a very simple term. And over time, you can get, you, you get more sensitivity in your skin, you age quicker, it accelerates your aging, it gives you pigmentation marking. So it's making your skin unhealthy. And if you think of your skin as the largest organ of your body, you need to maintain it as best you can and keep it as healthy in the same way that you do with every other organ in your so body. So sorry, can I just sort of say then, so anybody looking this morning, if we colour at all, mm -hmm. we're putting ourselves at risk. Absolutely. So if we go on holidays for our two weeks holidays, we should come back as white as we went? Absolutely, yeah. If you want to tan, it comes out of the bottle. <laughs> I'm literally gobsmacked at that. Well, I'm not I'm gobsmacked. No, but I thought, no, no, I, this, no, but I thought Alan, if you're putting 50, factor 50 or factor 30 on and you get this nice gradual colour, mm. that's healthy. I well, thought that was... Realistically, are you expecting everybody to not get any sun, like when the sun is out, not to sit in it? Realistically, that's what we want people to yeah. do. We want people to not go in the sun to get a sun tan and this thing of doing sunbeds before you go on holiday to get a base and of not course healthy. that's not healthy. not healthy we don't we like sunbeds yeah. and everything else but i mean like well can is there any way of protecting like what's the best way for people to protect themselves if they're not going to be going out into the sun so they wear sunscreen if you're wearing an spf 50 on a daily basis you're building up um you're, you're stopping that cumulative damage from happening so sunscreen on a daily basis regardless of whether it's sunny out or not even on an overcast day the uv rays are still doing damage and factor reinforcing. 50 even in, in the winter time yeah even in the winter time because the uv rays reinforce old damage so when the uv rays hit your skin they damage your DNA at a cellular level and every time you walk from your house to your car the UV rays hit your skin and that damage is reinforced and it's that cumulative damage over the years that ends up making your skin more vulnerable. And like even if you got like people may be more aware of this now but years ago you'd see the far well you still see we call it the farmer's tan yeah. and stuff like that so if you got badly burnt years ago and you're, you're okay, but years later, that can have an effect on you. Absolutely, yeah. And it can take 20 years for sun damage to manifest itself. Because we have a very high level of skin cancer in this country. We do, yeah. 11,000 cases per annum are diagnosed. But the good news is that if it's caught early, that it can it can be treated very easily. So the, the message is to get skin checks done are on an annual basis. Are there different forms of skin cancer? There are, yeah. Some would be more severe than others. So if early detection really is key. So is these watching for your moulds, if exactly, you have little moulds, and if they change colour, if they go crusty, exactly. or anything like that, to yeah. make sure that you get that seen to. Exactly. And if you, if you are covered in moulds, maybe a mould check once a year even? Yeah, I would recommend anybody to do a mould check once a year. Now you have some products here because mm -hmm. like we're saying 50, so is 50 the magic number? Because I know there'll be a lot of Irish people going, oh, we don't need factor 50, that's way too high. Yeah, I would say do minimum 30, but ideally 50, you know, and there's not a huge difference in the percentage. SPF 50 will give you 98% uh, protection against UVA rays. So it is important to wear the SPF 50. And if you're wearing something like this on a daily basis, and so, so you put this on in the morning time before you go out to work and it's seven o'clock 
o'clock when you put on your SPF. By the time it gets to 11 o'clock, that SPF has started to degrade and it's no longer an SPF 50. So you're, st you're not getting that full protection. So by lunchtime, if you're going out for lunch today, you're going to get a sandwich, sit on the green for an hour while you eat your lunch. You're not fully protected, so you need to be reapplying it. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, so bring it with you. And it's on you. arms, it's face, neck, wherever all over. Wherever you're exposed. Uh, uh, for children, then, how important is it to who are going to school in the morning? Because yeah. obviously you might be putting the cream on their faces in the morning, but by the time lunchtime comes, the cream's worn off. Yeah. So I would encourage them to get something like this is ideal, where they're, you know, it's a small little uh, thing that they can pop into oh, their to school bag. take with bio. them to school. Yeah. And just get them to reapply it. I know with children, with it can children be difficult. That they might yeah, sort of, yeah, exactly. It can be difficult to get. But you know, in the same way that you teach your children how to clean their face, brush their teeth, teach them to put sunscreen yeah. on on a daily basis. Like we, as well. we see that one there, the Factor 50, and it's a tinted one. Yeah. And I see a lot of these products now. A lot of these sun creams are tinted, and I like using because it gives you a little bit of color then as well. Yeah. But there is the problem that you might you just you might look covered, but it's not enough. It's not because enough. Because it's exactly. tinted, you go, oh, that's lovely, yeah. that's enough. So what I did, was I brought in this little, this is a quarter teaspoon. So when you're putting sunscreen on, you need to fill this quarter teaspoon and that will, will be enough to cover your face and neck. And often- That's all? Yeah. That's not very much, is well, it? Well, if you, you put that in, you'd see, you, if I gave okay. that to you now, you'd be like, this is a Because it's a factor lot. 50, so it's quite thick, isn't yeah. it? But so, People would often ask me, do I have enough protection if I have a, a makeup with an SPF 50 in it? But if I put enough, if I put a quarter teaspoon of makeup on, you could see it's a lot of makeup. Okay. So I encourage people to use a separate sunscreen and then it's just an added bonus if there's their makeup. Okay, so we know uh, sunscreen screen is so important, particularly with the weather that we are having at the minute, uh, factor 50 at least. Can I just quickly touch on sunbeds? Yes. Um, because they're still all over the place. You yeah. still see people going into it, even with weather like this. How dangerous are they? They're incredibly dangerous and they, they, they're, it's as dangerous as smoking. You, you really shouldn't be doing sunbeds and they should be banned in my opinion. Really? Totally yeah. banned. Totally banned. Yeah. They're yeah. not good for the skin at all. There you have it. Hello. Warren's mad for your you're Warren, you're good for your SPF 50. as Warren, well, you're aren't you? Good factor 50. I'm, I'm fifty left, right and centre. They call me patches of hula hand because I can only get I get burnt in batches, um, so I don't go in the sun. It's all there you fake. Go. Make sure to look after your son. Uh, Evanna, yeah, Brin, thank Evanna you. Brin, thanks so much thank for coming in and talking to us.